Hey guys, it's Lexi. Um, I'm getting ready to do my second chemical peel as I promised you guys that I would do on camera. Um, and so far what I have done, um, it's been 24 hours since I've used any uh, acne skincare products, which you want to stop within 24 to 48 hours. Um, only thing I was using was a Cicillic, uh, well, it was a lotion. It was called a Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. That itself has 2% um, Cicillic Acid. I stopped using that um, yesterday. And as far as the Glycolic Acid Skin Resurfacing Solution, I have not used this probably since uh, Friday. And today is now Monday. Um, so, what I have set up is... I'll move this so you can see. I have my sink. Um, okay. My sink with the water in it. And it has a fourth cup of uh, baking soda in there. Dissolved already. It is cold water. Um, to prep your face, what you want to do is use a non-acne facial cleanser. I'll be you. Well, I've already done it. I just did it. I did a Mary Kay uh, Deep Cleanser Formula 3. So, it's just a white cleanser. It doesn't have any uh, thing in it for acne. Next, I took, you, you need to use a toner on your face to remove any oils, residues, and leftover whatever. I'm using Dickinson's uh, Original Witch Hazel. Um, mainly because it is all natural. It's no, uh, like, um, you know, acne stuff or it's not harsh. Um... The next thing that you want to do is set up a timer. Get that ready. So, um, let me add a timer here. This, okay, week one is telling me to do, a, to leave the solution on for one to three minutes. I'm on week two. And it says um, to leave it on for three to five minutes. So what I'm going to do is set a timer for five minutes. Um, if I need to take it off before then, I'll take it off before then. But the max is five. That's what I'm going to do. Five minutes. Um, okay. So I have that situated. And my face is now dry. Um, you're going to want to get your glycolic acid out. I have a half of a cotton ball. Okay. And you want a glove just in case. Okay. So I'm just going to saturate this uh, cotton ball with the uh, glycolic acid okay let's put the top on it because you don't want to accidentally knock it over and I'm going to move it out the way next um, you are going to basically put it on your face but you don't want to go in your eye socket area not under your eyebrows. This whole area right here, you're going to stay away from, okay? So, all right. And you need to move fast because, again, you're on a timer. So, let's just spread it on. And get it everywhere. And it is already stinging. <laughs> So, oh gosh, I don't really know if I'll be able to keep it on for uh, five minutes. We will see. I'm going to start my timer now. Okay. So... It's on there. 
I'm just gonna throw this in the trash. Okay. I'm gonna try to talk to you. It's burnt. I mean, it doesn't burn. It just, it's not that comfortable either. It's like an irritating thing. And another thing I notice is I get a real nasty taste in my mouth as soon as I put this on my face. Well, it's not a nasty taste, but um, you know how your mouth waters when you're getting ready to throw up? Like, say you've been drinking, and then the next morning during a hangover, you um, have to throw up like that watery feeling. That's what I'm getting. Um, now, what I noticed during over the course of the last week was uh, all of my acne dried up. I have had one pimple since then, but um, I haven't been touching my face or anything. So, yeah, I'm just going to take this off. I'm going to wash it and reuse it. So, I have um, 3 minutes, 50 seconds left. Um, it is still tingling. Like needle pricks I guess that's what it feels like needle pricks um what I did notice the last time was that probably the worst part was actually rinsing it with the um baking soda I don't know if I had too much baking soda but I measured it this time because last time I freehanded it and it literally burned and it is burning now and I don't know if I'm going to keep this on for a full five minutes I was able to keep it on last time longer than three minutes, but shit, it is really burning. Well, it's not burnt. It's getting very uncomfortable, though. I'm going to try. I have two minutes and 55 seconds left. So... I don't see any. I mean, it's not red. I guess the only red area is probably on my upper cheekbones. The nose area burns the most. That's why typically you should do your outer areas first and this last because this is more sensitive. Um, two minutes, 20 seconds. Um, when I'm done, after I rinse it off, I'm going to rinse, splash my face for one minute in this um uh baking soda mix water mix um and then after that i will empty my sink and just continue to rinse my face for, for a little while just to make sure i have it all off the baking soda is going to neutralize it then um, i'm going to use this green tea moisturizer from proactive um, because it doesn't have any acne fighting uh ingredients in it and it is going to um help calm my face down um, after what you can expect after the peel is to feel, um, you will probably feel, um, tingling afterwards. It shouldn't burn, but you'll still feel probably pin pricks occasionally throughout the day. I noticed that for a good eight, 10 hours probably. So I am at one minute and uh, 12 seconds. That's how much I have left. Um, it's not bad, I guess, but I'll probably, I'm sure, have peeling in this area. And um, last time I had peeling right here a little bit, not much. All right, we're almost done. Uh, 49 seconds. I can feel it right here mainly. It feels the worst. <laughs> And this red right there looks like I got punched in the face. And um, they say you can do this to help calm it down, I guess. That does feel better. And I got to be honest with you. I'm scared to like put this baking soda crap on my face. Because um, last time I did it is when it burned the worst. I really did. So, I have some redness right here now. The lighting is kind of wrong, so I don't know if you can tell. Alright, so I did five minutes. I'm going to start my one minute timer. Now I'm going to splash my face. Oh my gosh. 
the baking soda really burns. Oh. Okay, it's not burning anymore. Much better. What I'm going to do is just rinse my face some more with some clean cold water. Okay. Immediately, what I'm noticing on my face is, um, well, next you have to use your moisturizer. Um, they also sell a moisturizer, but I'm going to use this. Um, you can use any moisturizer you would like. Now, about my face, what I'm noticing is that, um, I'm not sure, I don't know if you could see. Um, let's see. Nope, I can't show you. Okay, basically, it's dry. The dry skin is now flaky. Um, but this is my face. So I'm gonna put the moisturizer on. Um, you got You have to stay out of direct sunlight. Uh, really, while you're doing this because um, direct sunlight um, you will tan a lot uh, quicker and it can give you like a hyper pigmentation which will be dark uh, marks so uh, you want to use an SPF um, use an SPF while you're you uh, doing these peels and also um, stay out of direct sunlight. I don't go outside, so it's not a problem for me. Um, I think I'm going to have peeling. So. Yeah, like, I really wish you could see. Um, wait. It's hard to tell. See? It's hard to show you, really, but, um, where it was already dry at is, uh, not bumpy, but it's pretty, uh, pretty ugly. Not ugly. I mean, it's not burned, but you know. So, I'm going to put some aloe vera gel on here, too. You can put aloe vera gel on your face, too. It's probably the best. Um, it'll keep you from peeling and all that stuff. So, um, moisturize. Put your aloe vera on there. And that's about it. So, um, that's the first one. Come back next week. Um, I'll be doing the third one. Alright, bye.